Kimmy and I'm Carrie and this is our Disney Cruise Line tag video. So Leg Life created a Disney Cruise Line tag video with 15 questions and last time we answered them we had not sailed on every ship. And so now that we have sailed on every ship we decided to redo this plus add a few new questions. Question number one, what was your first Disney cruise? Um, our first Disney cruise was on the Disney Dream. It was a very merry Christmas time cruise and it was a three nights in the Bahamas. It sailed to NASA and Castaway. Okay, how many ships have we been on? We have been on all four Disney ships currently, but five cruises altogether. Question number three, what is your favorite main dining restaurant? Our favorite main dining restaurant is Rapunzel's. Rapunzel's. And Rapunzel's is on the magic. Okay. okay, question number four. What was your favorite port? Castaway. Yep, of course, Castaway. And if we couldn't have Castaway, I guess we would say Jamaica? Yes. Jamaica was our favorite. It had Duns River Falls and we did the bobsled. It was a great experience. Question number five. What is your dream Disney cruise itinerary that is currently sailing? I would love to do a European cruise, Denmark, Sweden, Sweden. Finland, that, those type of cruises, or do an Alaskan cruise. They've got the Frozen show outside on the deck. They've got Pixar Pals where they come out. And then they also have Mickey and Minnie in their Alaskan outfits, which I really want to meet them in. Right, question number six. What was your favorite Disney cruise souvenir? So we have a lot of souvenirs. But I would say the most used thing is this Disney Cruise Line pillow. I also use my marble blanket a lot from the Magic. I think the pillow came from the Dream. And then this bag also came from the Dream. It's my tote bag and I use it every cruise as my carry-on and my beach bag. Okay, um, for my souvenirs, um, first we love our picture frames. Um, that we have the character sign, which I'll show you a picture now. And then I've got this Disney Cruise Line bag. I got it on the Disney Dream on our very first cruise. I use it on Castaway Day and it's my carry-on bag when you walk on the ship. So this one gets a lot of use. And then of course, I love the new spirit jerseys they have with the name of the ship on the back. And I'm hoping that I can get all of them. But right now we just have the one with the magic. So those are probably my favorite. All right, question number seven. Uh, what is your best or favorite Disney cruise memory? We've had a lot of cruise memories, um, winning Disney trivias, um, character meet and greets that we've had that were special. We met Ashley from, she's the voice of Ahsoka. On and Star Wars Day at Sea. So we met her, she signed and took pictures with us. Um, we had the Disney Channel filming a commercial so we just had a lot of good memories. Yep. And another one was getting all that swag from the cruise line director. If you want to see us get that swag, you can check out our castaway vlog on the magic or our haul video where we show what we got. Um, in the bag. Yep. Yeah, we came off the castaway and it was hanging on our fish extender and we got some cool goodies inside. Number eight, what is your favorite ship? Um, I kind of have two favorites, I, but I like them for different reasons. So I love the dream, I love the layout, I love the lobby. Um, it was our first ship, it was just so magical. Yeah. Dream is, has my favorite chandelier mm -hmm. in the lobby too. Yeah. I like the color scheme in the dream better. And the then decor. out of the classic ships, I would say the magic, and that's because Rapunzel's is on there. Yeah, you got the Rapunzel show, we got the Rapunzel restaurant, dining. dining. So yeah, Magic and Dream are my favorite ships as well. All right, question number nine. Um, where would you like to see Disney sail to that they don't sail to right now? I would say a cruise in Australia would be pretty cool. Yeah, I say the same. It would be expensive, but it'd be good. Okay, your favorite onboard snack or treat? Free Mickey bars, dessert, and of course the ice cream soft serve upstairs. Yeah, the ice cream soft serve, and then we love going to like Daisy Delights or like Flo's Cafe, depending on what ship you are, um, to get like the pineapple mm -hmm. and like the fruits and like. And the, I just love the cookies. cookies. Yeah, the cookies on the island and the cookies at Daisy. Yeah, the chocolate chip giant cookie. Question number eleven: uh, What is your favorite onboard activity? Disney trivia. Yes. Disney trivia is our favorite. Yeah, uh, outside of like meeting the characters. 
Question number 12. What was our worst Disney Cruise experience? I would say, what, out of, I think three out of five cruises, we've gotten seasick. Yeah. And Getting seasick. So that, yeah. that kind of takes it, and that's nothing to do with Disney. It's just yeah. how I am. I guess for Disney, though, like Disney related, that they could have maybe fixed or changed um, was our Marvel Day at Sea. We had no Iron Man, and that was probably the most upsetting thing because you can't meet Iron Man in the parks. Mm -hmm. and you can't meet them anywhere else and that was one meet and greet we were really looking forward to and he was not out for our cruise okay question number 13 what is the best time of year to sail that we've sailed so far we've sailed april we've sailed december and february, february and october the best for us was april a april probably our favorite time it was of year. still cheap considering compared to summer and holiday prices we didn't get seasick in april our birthday's in April, so we were just celebrating lots of things. Mm -hmm. It was a great cruise. <laughs> Would you rather have the front, middle, or the back of the ship? We've sailed the, the aft and we've sailed the front. And the front actually did not bother me as much as I expected. We, we found that in the aft, um, there's more rumbling, like engine noises. The front, I didn't really hear any of that. But I still like the back because it was under cabanas and yeah. we would just walk up a flight or two for to go straight up to cabanas. Um, so I do still prefer that. Question number 15 is, what do you think of the new ships um, that are coming out? What will the names be? There's three of them coming out. Three new ships. A while back we did guess the Wish and we were correct in 2022. Yes. Um, we'll have the Disney Wish, so we're very excited for that one. But what do you think the other two names will be? Um, our last guesses were Wish, Believe, and Imagine, and uh, our imagination, and so I'm gonna stick with those, yep. those guesses. Yep, the Believe and Imagine. All right, so that completes Leg Life um, 15. 15 questions, and so we've added five new questions to this tag video. Okay, so here we go. What is your favorite Disney Broadway show? kind of have a couple answers for this. This is a hard one, but I would say out of, uh, we'll call it like out of the movie wise, like the, the movies that they retell for Broadway, mm -hmm. my favorite was Tangled. Um, however, I'm not a big fan of Frozen, but the Broadway show was very well done. And then out of the, um, the other, like just Disney Cruise Line scripted ones, uh, Golden Mickey's was my favorite. Yeah, I would agree with all those golden mickeys. Um, same with the Frozen that she said, but I do love Tangled and I loved Beauty and the Beast. Question number two. If you've been on Marvel and Star Wars, which one did you prefer? Uh, Marvel Day, hands down, Marvel Day. Had better character interactions. Uh, the show was much better, more activities on board. Yeah, so we could do a whole video on Marvel versus Star Wars. Yeah, but Marvel. Question number three. How many Mickey medals have you won, if you've won any? We have won eight Mickey medals, and they've yep. been all for some type of Disney-related trivia. Ultimate Disney trivia, Marvel, or regular Disney trivia. Yep. So if you've won a Mickey medal, let us know what you won it for and how many you've got. Yep. Question number four is, have you run the 5K on Castaway? Yes, we have. Yep. We ran it once. Yep, and that was enough. <laughs> yeah, that was on our second cruise, the uh, Star right. Wars Day at Sea at the Fantasy Cruise. Yep. Mm -hmm. Question number five, and our final question that we've added is, on the current ships sailing, so out of the four, what character meet and greets would you like to see added to the ship? And I was thinking about this, and I was like, well, what if they added, like, the genie and Aladdin on the fantasy when Aladdin is playing? Like, have a meet and greet sometime in the day before the show and have those characters come out. Yeah. Or with Beauty and the Beast on the Dream, like, have the Beast and Belle come out together because it's very difficult to get, like, the couples together. But more rare characters yeah. that you can't find in the park. In, just in the parks. Um, or Tangled, you could have Rapunzel and Flynn as a meet and greet, not just on in your dinner, mm -hmm. like coming and by. together because they kind of come around separately and I would love to have them together. Or even like Mother Gothel or... Or you could do Fairy Godmother, mm -hmm. Cinderella, Prince Charming on the Twice Charmed. Yeah, like not characters each. that kind of go along with the show. I would love to have like a meet and greet out, outside the lobby there, um, you know, maybe but, in the afternoon before they start their shows. 
So that's our, our Disney Cruise Line tag. Hope you guys are willing to do a new video and add your five questions. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, travelers.